So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp message on job application form submission. Now suppose guys, you are working in an organization or you run a business and you have created a job application form using Pavli Form Builder or any other online form building application. Now you want that whenever a candidate, an applicant actually fills the form and submits it, basically applies for a job using that form, you want to send them a WhatsApp message. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new form submission in Pavli Form Builder. An action will be sending WhatsApp message to the same applicant using Interact. So Interact is one of the official business APIs of WhatsApp using which you can send WhatsApp messages. Now how you can set up this automation and connect Pavli Form Builder and Interact. To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So here guys, as you can see, this is the form which I have created using Pavli Form Builder. So this is a job application form and I have shared this form on my website and multiple places. So the users, the people who are interested in my company and they want to apply, they can fill this form and apply. And then here guys, what we want, we want that whenever a user will fill this form and submit it, whenever they are going to apply for a position in my company, automatically we want to send a WhatsApp message using Interact. So here guys to do so, we are going to use an automation and integration platform that is called Pavli Connect. So Pavli Connect, using Pavli Connect, we are going to first connect our Pavli Form Builder form with Pavli Connect so that every time we receive a new application using this form, we get those details in our Pavli Connect workflow. And then you are going to send those same details using Pavli Connect to Interact so that using Interact, we can send WhatsApp messages to those applicants as well. Now here, as you can see, we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name a workflow as Pavli Form Builder to interact and then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here was, to connect the form, the, the form which we have created using Pavli Form Builder with Pavli Connect. So here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Pavli Form Builder. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new form submission as the trigger event. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect the form in Pavli Form Builder with this Pavli Connect workflow. And to do this, you just have to follow the help text given below over here. Copy this webhook URL from here and go to the form which you have created using Pavli Form Builder. After opening this form from the left sidebar, go to integrations. And then after coming to this integration page, go to webhooks and click on add webhook. Now, when we click on add webhook button, this box appears in front of us. And here it is asking us to add the webhook. So just paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect over here and then click on save. And as we click on save, we will see this form will be connected with Pavli Connect using the webhook URL. Now every time we are going to receive a new form submission in this form, automatically the form submission data will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's do this guys. First click on this recapture webhook response button in our Pavli Connect workflow and now it has changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect workflow is waiting to get some response, some form submission data from Pavli Form Builder. So let's do this. We have created this form. Let's open this form in the preview mode and let's make a test form submission, a dummy form submission. For example, dummy user. This is the name. Let's enter the details of a dummy user. This is the email address. This is the mobile number. So whatever mobile number the user is going to enter in this job application form, on the same number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message. So this is the mobile number. After this, let's enter or select the applying for the position of from the developer. Let's select video creator. The total work experience is, for example, two years. And then resume. So let's upload the resume in the same form. 
select the file this is it this is the pdf file and click on open so just now we have entered the details of a dummy applicant in this job application form and then click on submit now as we click on submit here you can see that just now we have received a new application a new form submission in this form which we have created using pavli form builder and because we have connected this form with Pavli Connect, we will see in our Pavli Connect workflow, we have received the response for the same form submission. So here in our trigger window, you can see that we have received this response. And in this response, you can see the same detail. Here you can see the link of the file, the resume which the user has uploaded. When you will copy this link and paste it in a new tab, here you can see that the resume or the same file which the user has uploaded in the resume section is open in front of us. After this, in this response, you can see the work experience which we have entered, that is two years. We can see the mobile number of the user which they have entered. After this, you can see the first name, last name, email address, and also the position for which they have applied for. So this means, guys, the step one of setting up this automation is not completed. We have successfully received the response of job applications from Pavli Form Builder inside Pavli Connect workflow. Now, after this, let's move to our next step. And in the next step, we want to send the WhatsApp message to the same user who has applied with the details of which they have entered as well. And to do so, to send the WhatsApp message in this video, we are going to use Interact. Now to do so, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in Choose app, search for Interact. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send WhatsApp template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, you have to connect your Interact account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the secret key of our Interact account. So here you might be thinking how you can get this secret key. So to get it, just go to your Interact account from the left sidebar, click on this gear option and go to settings. After coming to the settings page, click on developer settings. And here you can see the secret key of your Interact account. Just copy the secret key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting it, click on save. So as we click on save, here you can see that our Interact account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the country code, phone number and full phone number. Now here guys, we have to basically enter the country code and phone number in separate responses in these two fields. So if you have the mobile number and the country code as separate responses, or if you just have the mobile number of the user to whom you want to send a WhatsApp message, or you want to manually enter the country code, you can enter those details over here in these two fields. Or instead of this, you can either enter the full phone number over here in this particular field of full phone number. So here you can just ignore these two fields if you have the full phone number with the country code intended its mobile number of the user. That too with the plus sign. So here the response which we have received from Pavli Form Builder, here you can see that we have received the mobile number with country code. The plus sign is missing but country code is there. So we are going to basically map this same response of mobile number which we have received from Pavli Form Builder over here in this full phone number field. So because the plus sign is missing, so we will just manually enter the plus sign. And then after that, from the drop down, here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Pavli Form Builder. And out of all of these responses, select this response of full phone number and map it over here. Now, whatever mobile number the user is going to enter in the form submission, on the same mobile number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message using Interact automatically. After entering the mobile number, the next thing it asks us is template code name. Now to send WhatsApp messages using Interact, first we have to create a template message what, that what is the template message which we want to send to our users. Now and here guys, it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple templates in your Interact account. So out of all of those templates, which template you want to use in this automation workflow, using which template you want to send a WhatsApp message, you have to enter the template code name of that template over here. And to get the template code name, just go to your Interact account, go to template section. And after coming to the templates page, just open the template. Like here we have a template name as job applicants. This is the template. This is the message which I want to send to my users. So after opening our template here in the URL section, after template slash and before slash view, here you can see the template code name. You just have to copy the template code name of the template, which you want to use in this automation workflow and paste it over here. 
and after pasting the template code name using this same template whatsapp message will be sent to the user who is submitting our job application form which we have created using pavli form builder after selecting or entering the template code name it is asking us language code now it is most likely possible that you might have created your template in multiple languages so using which language you want to send the whatsapp message so right now i have created this template in only one language and that is english so i'm going to enter the language code of english over here instead of english if you use or if you create template message in any other language according to your requirement you just have to enter the language code of that particular language in over here in this language code field after language code it is asking us header values now while creating a template in interact we also have an option of adding some kind of header files like images videos or document and if you want to send some kind of images videos or document as the header file with this whatsapp message in the template you can actually mention that what will be the image file video file or document file in this header file url let's take an example like i select an image as the header file now here guys whatever image i want to send with the whatsapp message i just have to enter the url the link of that image in this header value section right now in this video i have created a template where i'm not sending any kind of header files i'm just sending some plain text in the header i'm not sending any kind of image video or document so right now we can just ignore this field of header value but if you are sending some kind of files or documents or headers you just have to enter the url the link of those files over here now after header value the next thing it asks us is body variable value now you must be thinking what are these body variable values so here in this template message you will notice in the body section i have added some numbers in double curly braces here you can see one here it is two here it is three here it is four and here it is three once again now you must be thinking why i have added these kind of numbers in double curly braces in the template message so after dear guys in this message i wanted to mention the name of the applicant who is applying who has submitted the form but the name of the applicant will be keep on changing for every new whatsapp message every new form submission we receive so here guys this means the name of the applicant is a dynamic text it's a variable which will keep on changing and to add these kind of variables body variables in the whatsapp message we add these numbers in double curly braces and the text which we are going to insert in place of this number in the whatsapp message you can enter that text in this body variable value inside public connect like here after dear i wanted to mention the name of the applicant so here this is the first variable variable one so what we are going to do we are going to first mention the value which we want to put in place of variable one we want to put the name of the person so just click here and from the drop down from pavli form builder responses select the response of the first name of the user and it will be mapped so whatever first name the user is going to enter while submitting the form with the same name we are going to send the whatsapp message after one we have the second variable two the message says thank you for submitting your job application for and in place of this variable two i wanted to mention the position for which they have applied for so here to enter the text in place of variable two here in this body variable value section just add this comma and then map the data or enter the data which you want to enter in place of variable 2 so from the drop down we are going to select the response of position let's select it and it will be mapped now after variable 2 in place of variable 3 i wanted to mention the name of my organization so let's add another comma and i want to mention enter the organization name as fably so here in this template you will notice i have added three over here in two three places this is the first one and this is the second one and the same text will be added in both the places and in place of body variable 4 i wanted to mention my name for example i want my name to be admin pavli let's take an example this is my name so here guys no matter how many variables you enter in your template template message one by one by adding these comma separated values you can enter the variable values over here after entering body variable values the next thing it asks us is position of cta button the call to action button and value of variable in dynamic url now in this template you also have an option to add some kind of buttons some call to action buttons and if you add some kind of call to action button with the dynamic url that means on clicking on that button in the whatsapp message the user will be redirected to the, some url some link 
Well, in that case, you can actually select the position of the button and also enter the dynamic URL in that call to action button over here. But right now in this template, we haven't created any call to action buttons. So we can just ignore these two fields for now and then just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the WhatsApp message template which we have created in Interact with the same template and the same variable values which we have entered, a WhatsApp message has been sent to the same user who has submitted the form on their number. So let's check it. We will just go to a new tab and visit the WhatsApp account of that number. And yes guys, here you can see that just now we have received a WhatsApp message on the same number which we have entered while submitting the form in Fably Form Builder. This message has an header text that says application received, the same header text which we have entered in this template message. Then this message says dear dummy means the same name of the applicant which we have entered while submitting the form. Thank you for submitting your Java application for video creator, the same position which we have selected while submitting the form. We appreciate your interest in Pavli. We have the same organization name which we have entered in Pavli Connect in the variable value. We have received your application and it is currently under review. We will get back to you shortly to let you know that know the next step. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Best regards, admin Pavli, Pavli. So we have the same name, same company name, same position which the user has applied for and the same name of the applicant which they have entered in the form submission. So here you can see that we have sent the same template message which we have created in Interact and we have added the values, the responses or variable values from the responses which we have received in Pavli Form Builder. Now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to get a new job application using the form which we have created using Pavli Form Builder, automatically we are going to send a WhatsApp message instantly to, to the same applicant using Interact. Now guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. We will once again go back to our form and this time we are going to make a new form submission. For example, let's enter the name as test applicant. This is the name. Let's enter the email address. This is the email address of this user and then the mobile number as well. Let's select the position now as PHP developer. Total work experience is five years. And let's upload the resume as well. Just select the file and open it. Click on submit. So just now guys, we will see that we have received another application, another form submission in the job application form, which we have created using Pavli Form Builder. And we will see Within seconds, instantly, automatically, a WhatsApp message will be sent to the same applicant who has submitted the form. And here you can see the message. And in this message, here you can see that this is the same name which we have just now entered while submitting the form. And you can see the same template message which we have created in Interact for the same position which the user has selected. This means we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.